So, magical set reviews, talking about magic. <laughs> He's so excited. I, fuck, Ecstatic. why am I here? Why am I here? <laughs> Yeah, like, I mean, it was fun last time, and we were admittedly stupid hyped about, I need to turn off my fucking vibrant, oh, that was you. That was fucking me, my bad. unprofessional shit. Zer's here. <laughs> oh, dude, <laughs> man, you didn't even play Destiny 2 yet. Yeah, Get on and play with up. me. Um, but it, we had a lot of fun last time, and it was, uh, we were stupid hyped about Modern Horizons. For sure. And uh, <clears throat> would you say the, the hype is equal with this one? No. Yeah, same. Um <laughs> There are some really cool cards, though. Uh, There's just fun cards in this one. Yeah, I find. Like, like I'm looking at that blood soaked ar- altar. That's I, like it's not that great, but it ain't bad. But for six, it's kind of trash. Yeah, that's that's a lot. That's <laughs> um, a lot. anyway. It could be fun though. And like, yeah, demon demon deck, uh, just flavorful. Uh, oh my god. So yeah, absolutely nothing excited me. Like no specific excitement over this deck. Like not even a single card. Um, there were cards that I, I liked, but there wasn't like ultra hype for it. Um, nothing really got me like, oh, I need to go buy a box today. Yeah. Fair. Um, yeah. If I'm going to buy any of these stuff, I'm probably going to buy singles. Uh, yeah. I I don't think anything really excited me either. Um, the demon, uh, go, go to black, click on black. Black. Um, I forgot his name. He's a rare boy. Which is surprising because he's not a mythic rare boy. Um, Let's see. This one? No, no, no. Body no, no. Agonies? Uh, keep going down there. Where the fuck is he? No. Oh, right there. Uh, Villas, Broker of Blood. Broker of Blood, huh? Villas. Ooh, 8 coster, though. Uh, yeah, 8 coster, but... And he's an 8-8. Eight, eight. And I honestly, I mean, 8's not too bad. My my black deck can get there. Um and in Yogmoth, he could be he could be a lot of fun in there. Less flavor, but more function. Oh, that guy. second ability. That's what yeah. we're looking at. Yeah, whenever you lose life, you draw that many cards. So, like, honestly, if somebody hits you really hard. Yeah. You can, <laughs> you're just like, all right. I'm going to draw 20 cards. Yeah. Look at I'm me. almost dead. <laughs> look at me. Yeah. Um, and the pay two life to put a minus one, minus one counter. Not even a minus one, minus one counter. It's just a minus one on a creature. Tell in turn, which is sad to me. For a counter, it'd work well with Yawgmoth. It would also get stupid, though, because if you could play some of your own stuff, mm-hmm. and then you could go well, crazy with that. you basically, what's really cool about it is you tap one black. I mean, you're paying the full eight to begin <clears> with, <throat> but you tap that one black, and you're drawing two cards from it. From it. Yeah. Which is cool. Uh, it just, yeah, the minus one, I think, is just tacked on value. Like, if you want to kill something. Yeah, um, yeah. But it's it's... And you know, if you want to kill something, or if you have excess black, you're gonna be like, you know, what? I need to draw cards. Yeah, here's yeah, a way. 100%. And it's it's it is a lot better. I mean, yeah, again, it costs eight to do, but it's I mean, you're not you're not getting a chump creature though. You're getting an eight eight. Yeah, and honestly, you're in black, and it's you can recur it, you can discard it. <clears throat> if it goes to the graveyard, you can get it out. Yeah, I mean, without I could, having to pay, for I, it. I could pay four to zombify it and get an eight eight. Exactly, yeah. stuff like that. Uh, but no, that that one kind of excited me just because he's. He's rewarding black players for kind of what they're already doing, which I mean, not necessarily getting hit for a lot, but like, you know, paying life for card draw, which is on a lot of their cards. Yeah. Necropotence. Right. You pay the like one per thing. Obviously, you have that discard clause where you let if a card goes to your graveyard, it exiles. So you have oh, to, dude. You have to be careful. You mean, but yeah, you pay five. You immediately are going to draw the five, but then you're also going to exile the five that you're going to draw it in a turn. Right, and then it makes us with like Phyrexian Arena as well. Yeah, you just keep you get three cards a turn, right? Yeah, yeah, because or five cards a turn. Yeah, you draw a card and lose life, and then you draw a card, and then you draw a card, and then oh, you get isn't it two life you lose? No, you that's lose, just one. Yeah, okay, you anyway, one. you learn, okay still, <clears throat> that's a good chunk of cards you're you're drawing. Yeah, in one if one you're turn in black, and you're drawing cards <clears throat> anyway. Odds are you're paying life for those cards. Yeah, yeah, and then, and with him, you're gonna be drawing more cards. Honestly, he would be definitely fun to build around. Trying to keep that balance between drawing and not your dying. heart, yeah, not dying. <laughs> it would be a lot of fun, actually. I think. Yeah, throw throw a um, what is it called? The bulls to citadel in there. Then you're really drawing some fucking cards. Yeah, so you start paying stuff off yeah. of. Uh, um, yeah, like, like you have a five drop <clears throat> up there. Like I'm gonna cast that five drop, lose five drop life. Draw five cards, reanimate Phyrexian Delver all of a sudden becomes really good because now Phyrexian Delver says when it's the battlefield, return a creature card to the from the graveyard to the battlefield. 
lose that much life. Yeah. You go look for mana cost. Draw now, now it also says draw that many cards. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it gets a little nutty. So uh, you can have a lot of fun with them. It's pretty pretty solid. It just it's just the cost for it. I think it's the three black. Honestly, if I didn't have Yogmoth already as a, as a general and I didn't <clears throat> love him so much, I I would probably build Vilas because I think it'd just be fun. You still could. You still could. But I only have one Cabal Coffers, and it's in Yon. <laughs> fair, fair. <laughs> um, but no, yeah, that, that, I think he excited me most out of anything else. I know people were stupid excited about the stupid-ass Chandra girl. The Chandra's? That, uh, well, mainly the, the mythic rare one that... Uh, oh, this one? Immediately puts an emblem for a plus. Yeah, it's stupid. And you can stack that shit up and... And it can't be countered. And with... Uh, was it echoing reverberations or whatever? Oh yeah, you can basically just you can stack like two counters immediately on somebody on everybody yeah, on yeah, all yeah. your opponents, right? Yep, each opponent. Yeah, each opponent. Stupid. And now you're on a real clock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the uh, repeated reverberation. I was telling that's uh, what it was telling Ryan because our friend Ryan loves uh, Chandra. He loves playing red, um, and he's super excited about this card. I told him like you know throw fucking if he does Oathbreaker or something, um, throw Furnace of Wrath. In there. Oh yeah! So now it's like your things are ticking for two, two anyway. Two yeah. each turn, and if you end up having repeated, repeated reverberation when yeah. you cast her, you, you start stacking those things. And the fact that it's a plus, it makes her harder to kill immediately oh. coming down. She goes up to eight. She goes up to eight immediately. Right. So immediately. Now, if anybody doesn't have eight on the board, odds are you're getting a second emblem. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's ridiculous. Um, I mean, she does cast. It costs what six. The fact that it's yeah. her plus too. Yeah, it's I think that's even, why people it's were not even a negative mind. or not even an ulti. It's just a plus. I know. I mean, what was her ulti? Even I didn't even look at it. Um, oh, it deals a okay. Next damage target. Honestly, you. I think you play stuff. the card to fucking stack emblems. You stack emblems. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's all you do. Um, and I'm, I'm sure this will go into every planeswalker deck because you know they have doubling season and shit in there. So they're gonna come out. She's gonna come out with fucking like twelve already. And <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, twelve, and then you just you just make her. Mm. basically indestructible with counters you know, like chain veil probably go nuts with it and stuff and because you're never going to be negativing her you, no, you're going to no. deal three damage to non-elemental <clears throat> no oh, I'm going to cool. stack emblems until my, <laughs> exactly. until my friends hate me exactly <laughs> um, yeah I know a lot of people were excited about her I yeah, do, you, do you have something to be excited I need about? this guy yeah you do need that guy I do need this guy I saw somebody else that you might need I can't remember right now currently um, um, so Johnny, the strength of pride. Uh, it's plus one is you gain life equal to the number of creatures you control, um, plus the number of planeswalkers you control. So you have your token deck. You're going to gain a lot of life Yeah, off him. Um, but his zero, his zero is where it's at. His, his I guess, ult or whatever it might be. Mm. I guess it's technically his ult because he disappears afterwards. Yeah, he goes away. Um, in my, my baby deck, I gain stupid amounts of life. Off off my commanders alone, I'll gain twenty life just with those two, um, and then it just there's not a game where I'm not under fifteen plus my total. Yeah, I mean you'll if you dro- do drop down, usually you can claw them back up pretty yeah. fucking quick. So this is basically a four drop exile. Yeah, and That's, it's it's really good because it's like <laughs> really it's all one sided. It's all one sided. Yeah. Um, the other card that I feel like you could use in your baby deck is called Corpse Knight. Uh, what color is it? It's white and black, so it's multicolored. No, that's not multicolored. That, why are you clicking that's on That's not multicolor. Go ahead and read Corpse Knight Oh, yeah, Knight for I me. did. Yeah. yeah, I was looking at Corpse Knight. Th- that's, uh, that's mean. <laughs> Whenever the creature enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent loses one life. But yeah. I guess, do you shit out as many tokens now? Not as much. And okay, I'm actually so. going to go be re- go back and re-look at that because I, I miss shitting out tokens. Yeah, man. Yeah. That, that was the whole point. Shit out tokens, you gain a lot of Now they're just buffed creatures at yeah. this point. That's what it's become. Yeah, but I saw that. I'm like, that would be mean. And it's a two drop. Yeah. It's crazy. <clears throat> Drop it out. Yeah. But um, sh- there's actually a misprint on this one. What? Um, I guess there's a promo version that says he's a 2 3. In the normal version, it's a 2 2. Get the promo. Or just <laughs> get, <laughs> get the promo. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I did look at this guy and actually, yeah, I was considering putting him in. Huh. Um, it also was really good in my recursion deck. Yeah. They're, they're could, entering in stuff and, so much. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which, well, but, but then again, I could use Blood Artist, but why not have both, right? Don't talk about blood artist, man. <laughs> but that's when he dies. So yeah, that's when sack they... this, re bring him back, sack and bring him back. You know, I mean, double whammy. Whatever you want to do, man. Right? <laughs> I mean, that's just you. Don't, don't do it to me. <laughs> um, do you have a favorite card in the set? Uh, favorite card. Like favorite. A favorite. Like absolutely. Like you'd favorite. go to bed with this card. Uh, I don't know if I do. But then you'd wake up and be all crunkling. I'm not sure that I do. Lose all its value. There is like a paradox engine. I gotta go back here. 
Yeah, R.I.P. Paradox <laughs> Engine. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Risen Reef is stupid good with uh, Zendikar's Royal. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it is. Um, I don't have a. I don't know if I have a favorite, but there was this guy that I really liked. Goros. Be- because I've been trying to build a landfall deck for the longest time. Mm. You, I'd have to be able to blink him, but... I mean, <clears throat> even the, his ability, like his activated ability is stupid powerful in any deck like this guy can oh, honestly yeah. be a commander for almost anybody yeah for sure and i actually might use him for my five color deck that i'm trying really hard to figure out i was direction. considering turning my recursion deck into this yeah i mean you give you extra colors yeah it'd give me that red where mm. red is the i think it's the staple that i need <laughs> yeah you to... get like murderous red cap you get uh was it uh shock tremors or whatever it there's is. a there's a there's one creature that just it's immediate like enter and exit battlefield if you really want me to hate you you could put perforos in there nah yeah but then it just turns into a perforos deck you don't want that. <laughs> um but no Golos is actually really cool and i mean he's 35 for five which i mean it's colorless you can ramp him out really fucking quick oh yeah uh, yeah that, that's what i do like about yeah he doesn't matter about color i mean just fucking five doesn't mana. matter what i have yeah <laughs> yeah um the <clears throat> Chandra was cool. I, I really dug her. Which one? The one we were talking about. Oh, okay, yeah. That's probably up there for one of my tops. Okay. Um, there is... I think it's a blue card. It's really powerful. Oh, excuse me. Um, I mean, yeah. it's powerful to the sense that it has so many abilities on it. it what? Tails End. Tails End. Counter target activated ability, triggered ability, or legendary spell. Yeah, I can see that, yeah. The only p- unfortunate part, you can't just target a regular spell. No, but I mean, more often than not, when I'm ever I'm about to die, it's usually because of a stupid activated ability or trigger yeah, ability. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and if I can hold that off for like a turn or stop it from happening once, yeah. that will like start a, a chain reaction. That's, I mean, I don't know. That just seems like yeah. quality to me. The only problem I see with it is that if I'm ever going to die by one of those things, they usually have the mana to activate it again. Yeah, or, yeah. Or, you know, try to trigger it again. Um, For sure. But you, it's it's definitely good, like... I mean, you could... Uh, yeah, it's fucking counter shit that make people mad. <laughs> <laughs> Just aggravate people. Yeah. Um, as for that, I, I, yeah, I think those are probably my favorites out of like, the... Like, you can make me mad, like, when I'm playing Yawgmoth... Sack creature, pay one life, and you just counter it. So I just sacked a creature and paid one life for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <clears throat> um, there was Sephara... Which I consider making a deck around her. I just want to make a mono white deck, just for the challenge. It disgusts me. Um, <laughs> no, I mean especially because I I kept hearing like you should just run Avison instead. But on it, I mean she Sephora seems more Sephora. She likes makeup. Sephora, yeah. Um, she uh, she seems more build around because you want the flying and stuff. So you can like you could either focus on angels or just focus on flyers. That's what I was considering. I, I mean, angels will be in there, but flying is is where I was looking at. See, you know who I thought about building? Who's that? The fucking bird. <laughs> oh, the, the bird wizard. In this in this set, yeah. Um, um, what's, what are his colors? I forgot his name, uh, but he's he's multicolored. Uh, the bird on. wizard, huh? Bird wizard. Uh, where's that boy? Go down, go down, keep going. No, what no. the fuck is he? This guy? Yeah. Kakar. 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 Um, yeah, whenever you cast a non creature spell, you create a 1 1 spirit creature token flying. <laughs> that's cool. You sacrifice spirit, get some red. Yeah, no, that, that's, that's pretty <laughs> it good. It just seems fun and like it has a white in it, which I mean is my least favorite <laughs> color. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, and it's missing black, the one you love. Yeah, and I feel like that would be a challenge. Yeah, for sure. Um, because right now, yeah, I'm trying to build. <clears throat> trying to get out of our comfort zone yeah definitely because I, I well like for the longest time playing magic i'm like what's my favorite color <laughs> and now it's like it's black it's always been black why'd i ever leave <laughs> yeah 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 and i like i'm still on the fence with it sometimes i like one color sometimes I like another it's definitely up there you spend a lot of time with like your floor colored yeah decks so and it's, it's like, hard for me to pick a mono or a, even a dual color is kind of hard sometimes. dude it's a good challenge though like yeah, especially to make it your own and not yeah. just. The I mean, same I have a Rakdos thing. deck, which is mm. it's janky. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's definitely janky. It's and, one of the janks that just wins out of nowhere. Well, what happens is I start building a deck, and say I pick two colors like Rakdos, and I'm like, okay, cool, okay, now I need ramp, and then I find out there's no ramp in this <laughs> this color, <laughs> so now I'm screwed. And I'm like, well, what if I made this my commander? I can still keep the same idea of the original deck, mm. just add this extra color. And then I do that, and I'm like, well, no, maybe I want to go this way instead. And then I end up building a completely different deck. Yeah. And because I find so much 
so much um, <clears throat> use in other colors rather than the the one or two that I, I planned on using. Yeah. It's just hard for me to just narrow it down. Well, just because I, I saw him and I was like, because I had my baby deck, which I ended up taking apart, which was a big mana deck. The whole goal was it was Thrasios and Vile Smasher, which most people might cringe at that because it's, you know, normally that's the combo mm-hmm. uh, couple where it's like they're going to win on like fucking turn three or whatever, yeah. go infinite and draw their deck. Um, not what I did. I went, I, I built up a bunch of, ma- there's like three creatures in the deck. I built up as much mana as possible and I killed everybody with an X spell. Yeah. That was the whole goal and I loved it. And Kakar, I feel like I could do something like that with if I focus on generating spirit tokens and then all at once just sack them all for a bunch of red and yeah you know like earthquake somebody for <laughs> earthquake us all <laughs> yeah yeah um stuff like that where it could be fun to build around where it's like this like weird spirit suicide deck <laughs> <laughs> um and it's like if i if i if i die right now <laughs> yeah i'll be happy with it but he seems like fun and the fact that he has a crane head makes me well, happy. you could put like anointed possession in there um yeah just give extra spirits you could put stuff like and like uh, the CMC. I would make low, so like all my stuff would cost oh, for like sure. one or two. Oh, if you're trying to cast more, multiple non-creature yeah. spells, you can even cast spells that give you more creatures. You know, yeah. I mean, there's uh, is it Goblin Warrens, the one with uh, Storm? Uh, mm-hmm. I, I forgot how much it costs. I think it's like three or four, but you get two goblins, but it has Storm. Yeah, yeah. So you can get a shit ton of goblins. Um, but you can't sacrifice the spirits. Like I would, I would actually want to focus though, like on the spirits in particular. So I would definitely have some creatures that, like, when they die, they create spirits or whatever. Yeah. Um, well, you could... Wouldn't you be able to stack? So you cast your goblin hmm. or whatever it is, and then you would immediately get it be- before the first spell resolves, and then you could start sacking to that. The, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, because it's on cast. Yeah. Um, it just... It, it seems like an interesting, fun build around Commander. And he's only $6, and I feel like he'll go down a little bit more. They'll all go down, yeah. I'm sure. Well, didn't they come out... No, no, it was pre-release weekend this last weekend. It's, yeah, it's coming out next week or so. I saw Golos in Josh's deck. Really? Yeah, so he, maybe he went to pre-release or something and got oh, one. Oh, maybe. Or he bought a box probably because you can you can buy them on pre-release. True, yeah. true. Um, but yeah, he was he was pretty cool. Um, Ooh, Disenchant's back. I didn't notice that. <laughs> I, I, and I, Yeah, man, they, they did some reprints, which I probably should have re- researched more. Oh, let's talk about brought back, dude. Brought back. Yeah. That's actually stupid good in white. That's stupid good in any deck that has white. Well, something that was pointed out to me, it's like it could be sneaky ramp, dude, because it's permanent. Yeah. Um, I mean, Obviously, we don't run fetches, really, because they're expensive. Uh, oh, it's, oh, I see. That's so, what you're saying. Yeah, so you could be like, I, I, I heard that where it's like you can... Well, if you have a first uh, turn like fetch and be like, okay, I'm not going to sack it right now. And then second turn, put your fetch down and turn two, you tap them both. Uh, th- those both go to the graveyard. You get two uh, split cards that both have white in it, cast that, and then get the two fetches back. Oh, yeah, that is neat. So on turn two, you get, and then you could have four. Mono white ramp if you need it. Yeah, and honestly, and just in a board wipe scenario too, you could get your two best stuff, two best things back. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. And, um, yeah, say you have a landfall deck as well. You drop mm-hmm. Prismatic Vista or Terramorphic Expanse yeah. or Evolving Wilds, sack them, do your thing, come back, and then drop like four lands in one turn. And <laughs> say you have fucking Nexus out or something. Yeah, you can go ham. And brought back, like, that's honestly, I keep, as much as I don't like white, I do like all the support it's getting. Like, Smothering Tithe was a huge step in the right direction. I oh, think, it's such it. a good card. Because it, it was giving white uh, mana ramp. Without but in, in specifically a, ramping, well, in a white way yeah. of taxing people to fucking <laughs> yeah. to fucking get the the artifact tokens. And, well, you don't need to get political here, right? Man. <laughs> white people are taxing. Um, <laughs> and then brought back, obviously, uh, it's just cool recursion and a sneaky ramp card. Um, it's just good in a lot of situations. Well, even red, like both red and white, which are I feel like, I mean, I feel like most people would agree with me on this, are the weakest colors in uh, EDH. Yeah. Specifically EDH, like if you did mono white or mono red. Mm-hmm. And red is, I think, is a little bit over white because white has a problem with uh, uh, card draw, with ramp, with a lot of things. Mm-hmm. Um, like red's got some support with uh, like the new Grenzo where you, like they now have that ability to like exile things in the top of libraries and cast those things as like a form of card draw. Um, they got that new card in Modern Horizons, which gives all... Uh, red cards in your hand, cycling for one red, mm-hmm. or no? It gives all mountains. Sorry, or I think it's just lands actually. Um, so you pay one red and you can cycle that shit mm. to get more stuff, which is a form of card draw. And 
at least card recycling. And I love that they keep adding yeah um, support to it, which I mean, I guess when Commander 2019 comes out, we'll see if they add more stuff. Yeah. That'll be a fun set to review. Yeah. We, we care about those. Uh, yeah. I, I love Commander. Yeah. Oh, once again, this is all based on Commander. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. We don't we don't play really any of the format. I guess we play Oathbreaker a little bit. Um, yeah. It's not something, but we, we play Commander almost specifically. <laughs> yeah. Everything else is meh. Here, now, you are talking about this before we started recording, but uh, least favorite card. Least favorite. Oh, so. Well, uh, they're just hot trash, in my opinion. Hot <laughs> trash. You're like, I don't hate them, but I want them to go away. <laughs> they just weren't worth printing. Um, <laughs> this is what, the one person at Wizards of the Coast that like stumbled across, across this podcast. They're just like, why? What? The, the, I, I signed that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Wigru Elemental is probably the worst card, in my opinion, in this set. As long as... I mean... I don't know if someone else has a way of abusing it. I mean, I doubt. I mean... If there's a way, then I don't know. Yeah. But it costs six to play, and it costs five to untap target land you control, and it becomes a 5-5 five, five elemental creature with haste. It's still a land. <laughs> I was about to be like, man, you could do a lot of crazy stuff with that with Paradox. And- oh, wait. Oh, awkward. <laughs> um, because it untaps your land, and then... The land can still tap. You can still tap it for uh, mana. Yeah, but yeah, it would be like the fact that you, you can't abuse it with anything. Green can ramp, and you. I mean, getting to that point, you can't. You can't if you have like a mono or a, like a black green Kogari deck. You can even Cabal Coffers it. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Um, yeah, I don't know why they gave it specifically. Maybe because they didn't want it to be abused, especially because this is a standard legal set, right? I'm pretty sure it is. I would believe so. Yeah, I believe so. I mean, they didn't want to be abused because if it was like one green and four or green and oh god excuse me one green and three then yeah it could be <laughs> i don't know it could be maybe it, abused a little bit more it's just trash i just don't <laughs> i don't see any use for it tell me how you really feel <laughs> it's just garbage absolute garbage do i have a least favorite card in the set there's i'm gonna say <laughs> you, you know why i hate this one because i've always hated it <clears throat> Um, where are you at? Where are you at? Leyline of the dude, <laughs> the card's so good. Leyline of the void, because I've had it used against me so many times. Yeah, I used to have one before it was like it shot up in price, and I'm glad that the price is going down now. Well, they, they were, reprinted yeah, it. They reprinted it. Well, <laughs> Leyline of anticipation, it was like almost twenty. Now it's like I think it's like five again. That one's really good. Given, I mean, it's Honestly, really good to have. There are two good ley lines. Yeah, black. Yeah, those are- yeah, those are, eh. Well, the new the new green one because there was already a green one. I'm pretty sure, and this new green one, trash. Yeah, garbage. <laughs> um, but no, Leyline Avoid dude is great. What are you talking about? No, it's not good. It just it hoses every deck. I have a gra- my mono black deck uses the graveyard, and I love this. Card. Exactly. <laughs> in well, fact, if I get one, I might put it in the Yawgmoth just to fuck out, hose everybody else. Ah, uh, <laughs> you're terrible. You're terrible. Mm. You you run this with like a grave pact. You are hated. Yeah, you are the most hated person. I mean, there's there's infinites with it too because there's like uh, was it helm of helm of obedience or a possession or something like that. You go to you like mill the top card and when it hits the graveyard or whatever, you like or when a creature hits the graveyard after you mill so many, you stop. But with that out, nothing ever hits the graveyard, so you just mill your whole deck. Wow. Yeah, there's there's, there's infinites with it. I mean, just yeah. like with uh, Cal, uh, Kalidus and stuff like that. Uh, right, right. But it, it's a strong effect because it's just straight up graveyard hate. It is. It Especially is. if you have it in your open hand, you're like, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I have a, I have a surprise. Well, I've, I've done it like twice with my Leyline of Anticipation. I usually don't benefit off of it as much as I think. No. But it's like, guys. Because by, by the time anybody has the ability to destroy it, they will. Yeah, oh, yeah. 100%. <laughs> they yeah, 100%. will. 100%. Time. Every time. Mm. Um, the ley line's cool though I actually wish they'd add, add that text to some other things but not too many things <laughs> no for sure um, the this guy oh, the I haven't band, really read allergies. into it too much Lotus Field? Lotus Field yeah it just <clears throat> it was a good like it was a it was a good effort well it's kind I, of I think they're scared of Lotus things, um, but <laughs> anything Lotus, with the word "term Lotus" in it. Lotus now represents mana to them. So, Lotus Field, Lotus Petal, Black Lotus, Gilded um, Lotus, Gilded Lotus. It represents mana. Um, 
And yeah, like if you're playing this, like obviously you're talking about commander here, not talking about standard or anything. Um, if you play this on, because you sacrifice two lands when it enters and it enters tapped. If you play it on turn, what, three? You have to play it on turn three, three. but you won't be able to use it until turn four. So you're yeah. basically the same as what you would do if you were dropping basic lands. Yeah. Um, Except you have hexproof on one of your. One the year. only thing I can think of is if you look at it from. I mean, this would be great in Gitrog because you're sacrificing the two lands and drawing two cards at that point. Yeah. But it, it that's judging if you play it on <laughs> turn three. If you play it later, you're probably going to be boosted ahead a little bit. But again, it comes in tapped, so you have to wait. The hex proof, I feel like, is irrelevant sure. because I'm like, I'm not going to spend my ghost cord, my strip mine, any of that stuff to destroy that. Yeah, I mean, it adds three <clears throat> mana to of any color, which is nice because then you could. Yeah. It's immediate fix. Yeah. <laughs> it's immediate fix four turns later, you know. Well, it, but it's for any one color, so it's like it's not like you can be like, oh, you can't, yeah, yeah, green, black, and blue or something like that. Uh, you'd have to have like all green. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's, it's. I mean. I can see people using it in certain things. Maybe, maybe there's tech that I'm not aware of. Yeah, there must be. Um, but yeah, to me, it's, it's kind of a meh land. Yeah, it's it's yeah. pretty. It's hot trash. To me, it's Wanna, well. I'm like, it's all right. You're like, it's g- fucking garbage. <laughs> um, Another hot trash card. You keep clicking on black here, and I feel like I'm attacked. <laughs> oh, so the new Soren. The new Soren is hot trash. I'm not a fan of Soren. I'm not a fan of Planeswalkers in general. So no, but this one. How can you do that to Chandra and then do this to Soren? Maybe, maybe they had a, a dispute. Yeah, target Tar- creature you control gains death touch and lifelink until the end of turn. If it's a vampire, plus one on counter, plus one plus one counter on it, which is not bad. Yeah, it's not bad for a plus one. Um, you may sacrifice a vampire when you do. Soren Imperius Bloodlord deals three damage to any target. You gain three life. Yeah, which is still whatever. And then you may put a vampire creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. I mean, that's not bad. Consider like in standard. Again, there's some vampires, I think, because I think Ixalan is still standard legal. Um, so there's there's probably some stuff they could do there. But for EDH, there's a lot of vampires and some good, like, big costers that you can... So yeah, if you, if you you're play, paying three. Yeah, if you play him on turn three or even on turn two because you had, like, a turn one soul ring. Right. You immediately minus three. You drop Patron of the Vein or right. um, things like that where it's, like, this, like, six coster... But those are like Butcher of Malakir. Those are like the pipe dream of getting yeah. It out. Yeah. yeah. Normally you're gonna Yeah, Butcher of Malakir turn two. Yeah, people be, are not gonna have like as, as long as you can follow it up with more creatures. Yeah. They're, you're, they're you're gonna you're, you're gonna control yeah. that field. Um but yeah, it's 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 a it's a it deals with vampires, I mean, which is what Soren does and honestly his his dad card from Commander twenty eighteen. No, Broken as hell. Was it twenty eighteen or twenty seventeen? Whatever, the tribal ones. I think it was um, seventeen. Edgar was fucking strong and for vampires and honestly i hated the eminence eminence abilities but uh you gotta do what they gotta do i guess yeah yeah they gotta try to make commanders more flashy but in reality they don't have to make them like <laughs> do stuff in the command zone they just have to make them cool when you play them or yeah. uh, you want to build around them i think there was another sword and it's probably from a oh what am i doing what am i doing there's no oh yeah it's, it's from a uh the planeswalker decks i never read it i didn't even look at it yeah vampire lord i it's been cost fucking six See no thanks. Target um, creature gets plus two plus zero. Oh. Gain control target creature. That's cool. I mean, yeah, that might be. Well, you'd have to. Well, you, each vampire gains. Yeah, but you'd have to do it four <clears> turns <throat> later without him dying. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After paying six to drop him. You know who card that I I don't hate, but the card I dislike. What's that? Go to multicolor for me. Oh no. Yeah. Oh 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 oh. Click on a. Uh, Click on new new Omnath. We'll get to Kali eventually. <laughs> eventually, you hate this card. Huh? This is just worse than Angry Omnath. Uh, um, you Lokes get of Rage or whatever it's called. Yeah, and speaking about Commander, I mean, it's cool that you get the extra color. You get blue. Yeah, but he's just not better. <laughs> Angry Omnath did something very specific. He shit out five fives, uh-huh. and when his elementals died, he hurt people. <laughs> yeah. Um, this one was it when he enters the battlefield. So only when he enters the battlefield, and yeah, you could flicker him. You're in blue now. You yeah. Got, you got flickers. Um, it deals damage to target, to any target equal to the number of elementals you control. So it, it's reliant. You already have a field. All right. Of elementals, specifically elementals. And it's reliant that you can either blink them or get enough value from that one entrance to really make a difference. 
And when a land enters the battlefield under your control, you put a plus one, plus one counter on target elemental you control. A single, a single yeah, elemental. One, and if you control eight or more lands, you draw a card. Yeah, you're right. Like, this it's, is hot trash. <laughs> it's just not good. And like, I'd rather run angry Omnath and lose blue because honestly, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of blue anyway, but... But yeah, you get like more yeah. Angry Omnath was landfall. When it enters the battlefield, you get a five five elemental. It's already a huge elemental, and he costs he costs more. I'm pretty sure uh, Angry Omnath. Um, I think he costs like six. Yeah, I have him somewhere. I don't, um, I'm not sure. And then when an elemental dies, you get to deal five damage to something. Yeah, that's or crazy. What, was it five or three? I'm not sure, but it's fact, still dealing damage. Yeah, he was aggressive. He hurt, <laughs> and he did what he wanted to do, which was fuck with lands and elementals. This. It, I don't know. He's and the fact that he's turned like you could reasonably drop him on turn four. But you're not going to do anything. Yeah, <laughs> if you drop him on turn four, unless you had a perfect curve where it's like one drop elemental, two drop elemental, three drop yeah. elemental, then him. Like cool, you're going to deal with what, four damage to something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> um, and yeah, the the draw card thing. If you have eight or more lands, is all right. But again, he's turn four, so that's still four turns away that you're going to even draw. Right, a card. unless yeah. you somehow ramped. Yeah, and I, I mean you can't ramp. You have green. And but. I guess theoretically, like you drop him on turn four. You're gonna have four more lands. You can make him into a was it uh, a seven seven? Yeah. But and then you got seven seven general. It's a three turn clock. But it's still again. Yeah. I'm. I play Yogmoth. He's gonna die. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. He's just not good. Uh, yeah. And I'm. I'm not a fan of him. He, he could have honestly. I would have loved it because maybe this is the bias in me. No blue. Add black. Make him Jund. And. Black just had some cool land matter cards. Obviously, like elementals. There's some cool elementals. There's cool el- black elementals in this set. Mm-hmm. Um, but it just, I would have changed his stuff around where it had dealt more with stuff like uh, maybe elementals in the graveyard or doing shit like that. Or but, all elementals when you when you throw them in the, not just one elemental gets a plus one plus one. Oh yeah, then it, he'd be pretty fucking strong. Yeah, give give them all and then start because then his first start ability, dealing with counters. Yeah, then his first ability would only be. Like icing on the cake of dealing like a little extra damage when he comes out. Yeah. Because then if you start every land you drop, now your field's getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and you start swinging. Yeah. Which is I feel like what elementals want to do, be aggressive. Right. Right. This is also like I'm, I don't know if Ryan's gonna listen to this because he also loves elemental. He had an elemental tribal EDH deck, and when this guy, not this guy specifically, but when everything started to get revealed, all these elemental tribal stuff, he was stoked. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, I mean, this could run because he's going to play Am- all you, Animar. Run it like Morphon and name Elemental. But that's, that's the thing, though, is <laughs> I actually had this conversation, too, with somebody about Morphon. I don't like Morphon. It was, it's like the easy cop-out for every tribe. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's why I like it. That's why I like it. <laughs> <laughs> um, it just, it's boring to me, yeah. but it's like, I can see why it's good. Um, and I'm, I feel like he's actually going to make more of an impact in standard than EDH. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, he's already twelve dollars, so there's got to be something to him, right? You run four of them. That's four elementals right Fucking, there. Hey, right. <laughs> um, does legendary rule still exist in standard? I feel like it does. Oh yeah, I would think yeah. so. That's right. He's a legendary. Um, what the, else you got? The, this this question is a uh, well, actually, yeah. Do I have a another hated card? And go back. Get, get out of here, man. Get out of here. Um, hated card or card that I just don't like. Um. Oh, um, go to green. Look on that Cavalier of Thorns for me. Cavalier of Thorns. Um, so five, six with breach for what? Fucking five? Five. Um, when he has the battlefield, reveal top five cards of your library, put a land card from among them onto the battlefield and the rest into your graveyard. The fact that they put the rest into your graveyard is kind of cool. So if you're running like a Golgari deck or something. Oh, yeah. Um, rather than like having it shuffled back in and go on bottom. Um, but you're getting one land and you could whiff on that. And when he dies, you may exile him again. So if you're running Golgari, now it's the field's bad. You can't really recur him if you want this effect. If you do put another target card from your graveyard on top of your library, I feel like they could have just put it back in your hand and it would have been fine. You're exiling this dude to get that card. You are graveyard. exiling this guy. Um, he's, he's a one, he's a one timer. Yeah, it's it's it, out can, of all the cavaliers, you, he doesn't seem. You can blink him, sure, but yeah, you'd want him to die so you can get that that put it on top of your library. Yeah. I, think the, I think I think the library. best effect is his first effect because you can see five cards deep, and that effect only is good if you're running a deck that cares about your graveyard too. Yeah, and if you're 
You're trying to flicker him. Like honestly, only... like I'm 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 thinking about rebuilding my Soul Tie Sadisi deck, the uh-huh. one where I mill myself. Yeah, to yeah. Get zombos. He might go in it because I mill myself a four essentially. Right. Um. I, well, I mean, you have cheaper cards that do the same. Yes. Um. But that putting it on top of the library, like when he dies, is effective in a certain way. Yeah. It just, I feel like he could have been, he's a mythic rare. I feel like it could have gone to your hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like maybe enough. not to the battlefield, but to the battlefield. Or top of your library. I don't know. Or second to the top. So it goes underneath that one card you put up. Wait, what? He when does you, put it on top. No, no, no. Him. Oh, him specific. Oh, he's rather so than exiling? Rather than exiling. Okay. Man, I thought you were having a stroke. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, like, yeah, you like, you could say, like, put target card, like, you have to put him third from the top or something, and you put target card on top of it. That's the only value I'd see, like, him continuously coming back. Um, because I had uh, Ronus, the new Ronus from. I don't even remember what the heck it was. <laughs> it was like two of a War of the Spark. Yeah, yeah, War of the Spark. Um, where every time he died, he basically went to the top of your library or second to the top. Yeah, and he just never went away. He just kept coming. Which back. Which I did like that. I liked those those gods' abilities. Um, even the first gods when they like they at the end of the turn they return from the graveyard to your hand or whatever. Yeah, I like that better than the just indestructible ones. Yeah, because it's more interesting. Yeah, um, definitely. And for commander, it's actually pretty dope because then like well, I was running a I was rolling a bulls of citadel with him. <laughs> Fucking stupid. <laughs> I love that card. It's just the fact that, like, someone destroyed him, or he died, or mm. whatever. Even when he exiles, he goes to the, the second of the top. Does he really? I believe that. Yeah. Does he really? I want to say that's true. Um. Anyway, and then he ended. He well, basically he just kept ending up on the top of my, top of my library, and I just kept playing him again. Mm-hmm. And he doubles everyone's power when he comes out. Yeah. Yeah, when when he dies or is put into exile from exile from the battlefield, from the battlefield, you may put it into your owner's library third from the top. Yeah, so he just never goes away. Yeah, which th- that's dope. Which I still need to get Bontu because I'm going to put Bontu in Yogmoth. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think he has the same ability. Um, yeah, they, they like that's more interesting than the indestructible gods because you can exile those indestructible gods and then they have to go back to the command zone. Uh huh. And then they you have to pay more. And then, but with Ronus, it's like no matter what, you just have to draw into him. Yeah, and, and you can and you will. Yeah. You will. I think the worst case, though, is if he's your commander, you would have to... Because if you choose to put him in the library, mm-hmm. this is the fun part, because the rules say that if they go, if they change zones, basically, you can have them go to the command zone. Right. Um, so if they go to discard, or they go to your library, if they go to exile, you can choose to go in the command zone. If you choose to put him, use that ability and put him in your library... And somebody said, makes you shuffle, shuffle your, your library. Your library. Yeah, he's, he's shuffling in, with you. He's in there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but I, I mean, I do like those gods, though. Those gods were super cool. Um, but yeah, Cavalier. The other Cavaliers are pretty interesting and pretty cool. Him, not so much. No. I don't like him. Uh, the blue one's also kind of meh. It's all right because it gives you car- some card advantage. Um, <clears throat> there's the yeah, Cavalier yeah. of Gales right there. Oh. Yeah. Gales, Gale, Gales. <laughs> um, when he enters the battlefield, draw three cards and then put two cards from your it brainstorms. Yeah, when he enters, and then uh, when he dies, you shuffle it into your library and then scratch two. So he shuffles in. I like him a lot more. Yeah, because you can possibly get him back. Yeah, and then you, you scry. To, you don't have to. <laughs> and then you scry immediately, so you can stack your deck. <laughs> you don't have to exile it to get a fucking card on top of your <laughs> library. Like I don't, I don't understand why it couldn't have been. Like honestly, he didn't even for that effect. When you, it could have just been like when he dies. Yeah. Put a creature or a card on from your graveyard on top of your library. Yeah. That would have been acceptable. Yeah. Because then it's like you could recur and maybe I get like some this value. Guy. I like this guy. <laughs> You're like, I like that. This guy's cooler. Let's hang out with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, He's got flying. I don't remember the, what the black does. Um, uh, so yeah, this is the Cavalier set. It came out. It's coming with this one, which I do like the cycle. Um, the Cavalier, Cavalier of Night. Night. Yeah. Um, Life Link. When you enter the battlefield. You may sacrifice another creature when you do destroy target creature and opponent control. So what black does, it kills stuff. Um, and when he dies, return target creature card with converted mana costs three or less from your graveyard to the so, battlefield. So recursion. He unearths when, yeah. when he dies. So he's And he doesn't exile himself. <laughs> he's so much better. Yeah. Why did green get shafted so hard? I don't know. I feel like maybe it was a color pie thing where it's like, well, green shouldn't be able to do this. because. But they, they do. Noxious Revival. Even oh, they have effects like Regrowth, which... Bring any card from the graveyard yeah. directly to your hand. Yeah. Um, Eternal Witness, that's in green. 
Right, right. As soon uh, as he comes out, just pop another creature out. But why do you have to exhale the fucking cavalier <laughs> to do it? It's ridiculous. What's, um, what's the white one? I, I think it's, something it's similar to Sun Titan, where it brings up Cavalier of back. Dawn. That's a cool. Um, and just battlefield. Mm-hmm. Yeah, up to one target non-land permanent. Oh, okay. Oh, you destroy up to one target non-land permanent, and you get a three-three golem. So you destroy some. Oh, the, the, it's and then he has recursion on so it. So it's that. Uh, um, the generous gift from Modern Horizon. Okay. Uh, where you destroy something, a non land permanent, and they get a 3 3 elephant. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. This is him, except it's a golem. Right, right, right. When he enters. And yeah, when he dies, return target artifact or enchantment card from your graveyard to your hand. And he doesn't exile himself. He doesn't exile. But for some reason, Green puts it on top of your library and he has to exile to do it. He's so weak. He's so weak. Honestly, you know what would have been better for him? The green. Easy. Don't recur nothing. When he dies, give all your creatures plus four, plus four. Yeah. So you could be like, you could either sack it. <laughs> or if somebody kills it, they're or like, something like, yeah, get put, yeah, put counters on creatures or yeah, just make stuff tougher for the turn. Yeah. So like if there's, yeah, if he does die, you can just start swinging out with creatures. Obadiah, your nose is wet. Obadiah. Dogs oh. nosing me. Um, don't look my, why are you looking at my shorts? <laughs> Quill on my dog. dog. <laughs> All right. So the one that I didn't care about because. I think it's just a terrible board wipe. Terrible board wipe. I like terrible board wipe. It just costs so much. <laughs> so, have you seen board wipes? Plain and clean. That's a reprint. I know it's a reprint. Yeah. I have it. <laughs> I don't use it. I don't <laughs> use it. Six, though? Like you know I what? can find other ways to wipe the board. You know what they should have reprinted in this set? I don't know. Because there was already a Theros-themed card. Uh, I think it was a reprint. Uh, God's Willing in the set. Um, they should have reprinted Terminus. It's the Miracle one. It's for one white, and you put all... Non, is it non-line permanents or creatures? I think it's creatures on the bottom of their owner's libraries. Wow. <laughs> Which is way better than destroying. Yeah. Um, I guess I don't like this because it doesn't have like damnation where <clears> it can't <throat> be regenerated or whatever. Or damnation has that, correct? Or am I thinking something yeah, else? Yeah, damnation has that. It, it doesn't come into play as often as you might think. But uh, for six, six is kind of, I mean, it costs two more than damnation or wrath of God. And it's all non-land permanents instead of all creatures. Yeah. It's all right. But the three white is like, unless you're running mono white or like a white blank deck, um, it is probably going to be harder to cast. Um, I mean, it's not bad though. Destroy all nine land permanents. I don't know. I've never liked it. <laughs> never liked it. Never, I actually, been, I don't think I have many. I don't think any of my decks have a board wipe in it anymore. <laughs> you, uh, you probably should fix that. Yeah. <clears throat> Good. Been solid pretty, pretty far. Pretty, well, can, so far. This is going to turn into me roasting you. Um, why don't you run board wipes? I just don't need them. Why don't you need them? Because spot removal. That's all I care about. So, in the situation that I see yourself get, you, you see you get into regularly when I control your creatures to a point where you don't have creatures, but I have all the creatures, you don't think a board wipe would come in handy? Mm-mm. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fair. Um, hey, Ley- Leyland of Sanctity is terrible. Uh, <laughs> you have hex proof. Um, I don't think... I love how they reprinted Rule of Law, so that's going to be in standard. That's going to be fun. Can't cast more than once. Yeah. Much. It's stupid. I feel like I interrupted you when you're talking about Safara. What was I? Yeah, I, th- I feel like I did. What did I say? You're talking about because you wanted to build a mono white commander, and commander deck. No, I think uh, that's pretty much it. I just I just want to <clears> challenge <throat> myself with doing mono something, and mono white seems to be the challenge for me. Yeah, and that, that was the other thing was like, Avacyn gives all your permanents indestructible. She gives your creatures with flying indestructible. With flying. So it's, I don't know. It's 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 more balanced yeah. than. And yeah, it's and other it's, it's other creatures, so she doesn't give herself yeah, indestructible. Just, just give her uh, some uh, hexproof boots or whatever they're called. I mean, she'd be great in uh, Kakar because all your white white one one flyers would be indestructible. Yeah, true. Yeah. Mm. And you could tap all of them to play her. Yeah. Um, the the next question is kind of irrelevant, I think, because it's. Do you think the set did what it was going to do? And yeah, it it's be, a standard set. It's. it's just, I mean. Nothing's too powerful, too broken. Nothing's really made specifically like Modern Horizons was supposed to be made specifically for Modern, but I, it was definitely for Commander, I thought. Yeah, this is um, definitely just <clears throat> rounded. And there's probably cards we, we glaze over that we didn't really care about. Yeah, because we have the goggles of Commander players. <laughs> exactly. Um, uh, anything you want to add to one of your decks? Anything I want to add to one of my decks? Um, go to black because I mean, yeah, Yagmos is my boy, of course, right now. But like I said, I'm trying. I am trying to build like. Uh, I was actually telling them this right before we started recording. I'm really. I kind of want. I've never really tackled a tribal. Yeah. Want to do tribal Hydra? 
because oh, then we're in the wrong color right now. Well, no, uh, so I, see, I had to look at black first. Uh, I don't think uh, Villas was probably. I might throw him into Yagmoth to see how he works. Yeah, I feel like he might come out just because of his high cost. Yeah, um, he probably cost. would because I want to try to keep that low. Yeah, um, it is another garbage card rotting register. Sanitarium, uh, sanitarium <laughs> skeleton, it's solid. Dude, fucking, I don't like it. <laughs> it's not reassembling skeleton. Uh, nah, probably nothing black yet. Yeah, go to green. Because, yeah, I saw this Hydra, the legendary Hydra. Um, there he is. Gargos. If I do, like, I was thinking about doing a Hydra deck, and I'm like, I could either do mono green Hydra, but I have a mono color deck. Or I could do uh, Jund Hydra and use Gyrus, the Waking Grave. Yeah. And his ability isn't the greatest, but it's. He cares about bringing stuff out, he exiles it, so it's like a one time recursion effect. And yeah, he has black, so. You could be using other like recursion real, effects. Real, yeah, real recursion effects. Yeah, real. But with uh, <laughs> with with Hydra, it just seems fun. And him in the deck, making your Hydras cost four or less. That, I think that would be the only reason why I might want to run him as a general and just try to do mono green. Yeah, was because I having that in the command zone seems pretty strong. And the fact that <laughs> you target the creature you control, any creature, so it doesn't have to be a Hydra, becomes target of a spell. He just fights something. Just fight, <laughs> fight me. He gets fucking angry, <laughs> yeah. and he's just like, well, "Don't you touch what? my babies." <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, I'm really debating on doing a Hydra deck, and I saw him, and I love how he's only a dollar. <laughs> yeah, I, know. I just looked at that too. I'm like, wow. Um. So it, it'd be a lot of fun, just big fucking derpy Hydra, because I don't usually make like big derpy decks, like with big derpy creatures. Yeah. Um. And if I do like Jund, black, red, green, I get access to some pretty cool Hydras out of that deal. True. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'd probably end up, I wouldn't add him to an existing deck, but him and the other green Hydra, I forgot his name. It's like voracious Hydra or something. No, it's, you went back to white. Always white, goes back to white. white. I'm sorry. Um, uh, where's the boy? Is it voracious? Where's my boy? Yeah. So yeah, he's, he comes out with you know, two, two, two green and X and you can either double the amount you basically put into him with counters. Cause he already has trample. It's pretty dope. He does have trample. And in Jund. I can add ways to give haste. True. Um, you could. And, uh, I mean, Gyrus kind of gives haste because when they die, he brings them back. He exiles and brings them back. I think he gives them haste. Um, so you could swing once before they go away. Yeah. Um, I mean, think about it. <laughs> if you, uh, although I have to look at Gyrus because I don't know if he just brings them back because if he brought him back, he'd be a zero one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, um, right, exactly. I don't know if, or if I can cast it from the graveyard or something. So I'd have to look into that and make sure it's not, because otherwise I'm gonna have to pick a different general. <laughs> Just, yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, or he comes out and fights somebody. So if I happen to have a bunch of mana and I pump in eight, I'm gonna make him fight, fight. But if I know he's gonna survive until next turn, I'm gonna double the fucking. Counts. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> and I could, I could finally use my card, Death's Presence. It's an enchantment for like six, the green enchantment. Whenever a creature dies, you put. It's power and plus one plus one counters on a different creature you control. That's insane. so. So then Hydra start moving shit around. Yeah. And then if I ever spend the money on Unbanned Flourishing, yeah, the card from Modern Horizon, I can get crazy with Hydras. Get crazy. Get <laughs> like how big is he? Get some doubling season in there. You he's, know, he's big enough. Some parallel. Oh, parallel lives won't work. But doubling season. I ain't spending sixty dollars on that card. I'll just do it. Just do. Just, just do, do it. it. I have one. Let me borrow yours. Just do it. I used to have one. I sold it because I didn't need it. That's fair. Um. What about you? Any cards you're going to add to your deck? I mean, you kind of talked about a few. It kind of talked. I mean, I, I chose out, picked a Johnny. I was saying. Uh, yeah, well, you just let you have a thing for cat people. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Um, the repeated reverberation. Passed it. No, it's R. It's in alphabetical over homes. What? Yeah. How does that work? It's right there. I'm, I'm, I'm lost. <laughs> I couldn't find it. I don't know the alphabet. It's really good. Um, when you cast in. When. <clears throat> What is that? Mis- do it. Does that say when you next cast an instant spell? No, it's right. It's so, so what? Because you don't have to like normally with these kind of cards, you'd have to play the spell and while it's on the stack, do this. Oh, you could play this and then play. Okay, yeah. that's that's weirdly worded. <laughs> cast a sorcery spell. Otherwise, the loyalty, loyalty ability, ability thing wouldn't really work. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah. copy that spell or ability twice. So, um, earthquake abilities and. Um, Frank omnipotence <laughs> twice. You're stupid, man. You just kill everybody you're, again. You're stupid. I did. I killed somebody. I killed. You killed the whole table. An entire table with yeah. one card yesterday. It was beautiful. It wasn't beautiful. It wasn't there. Yeah. Well. It was won. a draw. So it doesn't won. matter. 
No, um, man, you won. <laughs> you pulled the trigger, bro. <laughs> yeah, you pulled the trigger. I'm like, hey, you guys, hold this nuke. <laughs> yeah. <let's see. laughs> I'm going to call that a win. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this one's really cool just because it's it's um, rever- a double reverberate. And it's just fun. It's it's it's, yeah, fun. it's, it's only fun four time. to cost or four to play. Um, so that might go to my Xantia deck. Xantia. Um, there's probably cards that deal with this a little bit better, but I like this card. Um, yeah, I think my biggest problem is with it is because it costs five. It costs five. Uh, um, yeah, whenever you creature you control dies, you gain one life and draw a card. See, me being a big black player, I'm like, what do you mean you gain life? <laughs> yeah, gain. <laughs> okay. I have to pay life for that shit. It must be the green in you. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, there are other effects that do something similar when creatures die. Uh, they won't gain you life; they'll make you lose it. Yeah, yeah, that's um, what I'm like, trying was to. Was it avoid. dark prophecy? I've killed myself with. Because every time you creature dies, you must draw a card and lose a life. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, that's a, that, it's a must too here, but you're gaining life, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's, it's good, and that's good. Uh, like if somebody board wipes your huge ass field, mm-hmm. cool. Yeah. yeah. Do it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, because you, odds are you're going to draw enough cards to rebuild. Um, but it's good. And for five, it's not bad. Like having a mana cost of five for what it's doing, it's pretty good. Um, the fact that it's uncommon is kind of weird to me. Yeah, yeah. Wanna, um, makes me wonder if it's a reprint, but I'm not sure. I don't think so. Uh, but no, it's it seems really good, and it's honestly like if you're building a big field like you do. Yeah, I would add it. And a lot of my shit gets destroyed. I'm just saying. Uh, yeah, I mean by me. <laughs> but <laughs> it, maybe this will get you some cards that you desperately need. Yeah, I put shit out, and I'm like, hey, we don't like that. I'm like, cool. Don't worry about this guy over here that's building up an army behind your back. I don't build up an army. Not, I kill all my things. Well, not you, but oh, yeah. I'm saying like someone who's starting to be like, hey, that person has doubling cube out. No, I want to destroy your big creature. I'm like, okay, asshole, you'll find out. I noticed that with it. Maybe we should do a podcast on a threat assessment with our limited experience. <laughs> yeah. Because I find that like I, I should have done studies about this shit. So both of our baby decks were built like basically together, like as one. His was heavy creatures gain in life mine was like no creatures a lot of spells and big x spells and every time we play together you would be focused down first yeah and every it, time. it was always because you had a field mm-hmm. and my field would be like oh i have an artifact here that makes sense and it stuff. just so makes me, like, just gives me uh yeah, and then I, artifact here. I got like I got this the, guy can produce 50 mana why aren't you <laughs> killing him <laughs> because the people don't count yeah um and yeah then it goes around to my next turn it's usually like torment a hellfire for 35 twice yeah Everybody's dead. I was like, hey, idiots, remember that time? Yeah, but, but <laughs> that was that was a, a fun example of threat assessment. Was But, I mean, obviously, like, some of the people we played with didn't know my deck. Right. Some of the people we did play with knew my deck and should have known better. Oh, dude, um, I remember that one time I got held down the entire game by a, a blue control player. He just it would not let me do anything. Whereas this guy was getting away with, like, <laughs> I'm slowly building up my... Oh, yeah. I was, I was fucking, like, one turn I'd drop doubling cube and be like, oh, I'm not going to really do much with yeah. it. Uh, a couple coffers. Yeah, and, oh, the, yeah. The, yeah, and one turn I'd, I'd make sure I had my pieces and then fucking just melt everybody for a massive amount of X. Stupid amounts. Um, like, yeah, you see, I wasn't going to attack you but, because but, I knew to kill him first. But yeah, but nobody, nobody seemed to learn. And I think that's actually something cool to say about threat assessment was is the fact that it's not just about what's on the field. It's about what you think that deck can do. Yeah. And I mean, I understand if you've never played against the deck before. Yeah. Because I can I could play against your Yawgmoth and your um, your baby deck and all that. And mm-hmm. like, I know what's going to... I know what to expect. Yeah. Um, same thing with everyone else's deck. Right. Actually, the only one... The only person I can never like get a grasp on what he's doing is Brandon. Because dude. he pulls out so much bullshit that I'm like, dude, how did you do that? He's the one that taught me how to play magic. He is the shenanigans fucking master. He really is. Like you'll like he'll sit there and look at his field and in my head I'm going over like, okay, he could do this, 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 this. And he'll do something completely fucking different. I'm like, how did you do that? Yeah, I'm like, you piece of shit. And he does a backflip while he does it. Yeah. <laughs> but he's the one that taught me. So anytime I win a game with like shenanigans, yeah. I'll look at him and be like, Are you proud, papa? <laughs> <laughs> Um, you know, it, it, it's a great... Oh, you clicked on Yarok. Yeah. Um, yeah. So guess who's going to build this deck? Who's that? Um, our our good friend, Nathan. Oh, I'm not surprised by that. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's a good card. <laughs> I, like how, I like how you, you stopped mid-thought when you saw him. You're like, oh my God, Yarok. Yeah. It's, it, well, it's a good. Panharmonicon. Better Panharmonicon. Yeah. Because it's any permanent, not just creature artifact. Panharmonicon. Um, and with all the... Um, 
Yeah, it's just stupid. <laughs> it's good. It's really good. And the fact that it sits in the command zone, even better. Um, and comes out with Death Touch and Life Link, and it's a fa- three five. And the fact that he's a horror, I love it. Mm-hmm. He's cool. Um, he, I'm thinking about putting him in my recursion deck. <laughs> I mean, you do have a lot of end of the battlefield stuff. Yeah, your recurring that was shit. that was the. Uh, I need to rework some of the stuff <clears> in that <throat> deck, but yeah, that's basically the shtick for it. Like entering the battlefield, recurring at the same time. Yeah, and he, he has some blink effects. Just still think you need to like lean towards more one. The There's other. only like a Jazzy Displacer now. Maybe you should just cut blink and go with recur. But I've al- <laughs> I've always <laughs> wanted to use Eldrazi Displacer, but I cannot find a spot for him. And this is perfect, fair. so he's staying. Fair, fair. You're like, you can't get rid of my boy. Yeah. And every time he's out, I don't think I ever use him. You know he can blink. I can, he can blink other people's stuff, right? Too. Yeah, I know that. So if somebody attacks you, be like, you're like, mm, yep, <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Um, no, your heart's really cool. Uh, I'm scared of what Nathan's going to build because he is Gross. A, a very spiky player. Very spiky. Um, he actually looks like the, the picture. <laughs> it's, just, it's just us at a table and there's fucking <laughs> elemental horror. <laughs> Think from Stranger Things just <laughs> chilling over us. <laughs> uh, it's your turn? <laughs> yeah. The um, mind flare. No, he's just, he's very spiky and uh, so he plays definitely to win. Uh, he's, a, he's a good magic player though. Um, but I'm I'm afraid of what he's going to build. Because I don't want my butt to hurt afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the silence. Yeah. Um, we know what's coming. Uh, I, I didn't really look up at like how many reprints there were. I know there's Disenchant. I think God's Willing was a reprint. Um, what did I... Oh, the Ley Lines. Yeah, the Ley Lines are reprints. Were reprints. Um, disenchant. I, there, I, I didn't see any crazy reprints. The, the Scrylands are pretty cool. The, the mm. fact that they put the sky lands back in. I mean, they, they're tapped lands. I lands. disagree. I think <laughs> I, they're trash. <laughs> unrespectfully disagree. <laughs> I do not like them. Whatever. I like that they're multi multicolored. Yeah. I just, they're slow. Well, yeah. I mean, they're tapped lands, but I think what, I mean, oh, they added the life gain ones too. I didn't see that. Um, the sky ones I think are just better because it kind of sets up your next turn, your next draw. Um, <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, no, I, I get you there because it. If I'm gonna run this or a shock, and if I have the shocks, because I only have like one set of shocks. If I, I yeah, if I uh, get some, I I definitely will put them in my less cared about decks, where it's like I don't want to waste the money on the shocks or the, man, the fetches. This, this is getting me all hyped for making that fucking hydro deck. <laughs> I want to go home and fucking. I need to look at your rares now. Do you have any hydras? <laughs> I do actually. Yeah, I'm gonna grab some hydras. <laughs> um, but no, it's uh, yeah, I can see that because it is slow. And I mean, if you look at my Niv Mizzet decks, the the five color avatar one, yeah, I got a lot of tap lands in there. Man. Oh, I'm sure. I, ha- I have the shocks that I do have in there, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I ain't buying ever, fetches. Ever since I got my shocks for my my baby deck and all of the non tapped ones, so good, like, right? I, I can't I can't go back to this. Well, I do I do really like the ones. I wish they would do more of those. The the ones where it says like it enters tapped unless you control two or more basics or if, unless you control two or fewer. That's what I, I have. I, yeah, I yeah, like I those stipulations those. or like the ones where it says like reveal swamp from your hand and it comes in untapped right. or whatever. I like those because it, it's giving you a way to make sure it comes in untapped rather than this where it's just a forced. But it, I mean, they're good budget things. Yeah, because for sure. They're, they're never going to be expensive, I don't think. Yeah, yeah. There's um, so many. They're out there. They're all, there's so I'm many. I'm actually thinking of buying, there's slow fetches. So you know how expensive fetches are? Yeah, yeah. Um, there's slow ones that come in the battlefield tapped, but they do the same thing where you could tap it, sack it, go search for... Really? Well, yeah. I, didn't know I actually that. might get some of those because... Yeah, so they next come turn in, you, you, you go look And you could color fix. Yeah, true. Um, but yeah, you could still run, you know, Terramorph Expanse, things like that. Um, Evolving Wilds, which is in the set, which is pretty cool. I think they should be obligated to make a new image for Evolving Wilds each time. There have been a few, I'm pretty sure. No, there are a few. Yeah. There are a few different ones. Same with Terramorphic Expanse, I'm pretty sure. Correct, but, but every they, time. Yeah, like every time they reprint, <laughs> every like, time. new one. I'm like, if you're going to give me this card again, because it's printed everywhere. It, oh, yeah, it's, well, it's, 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 it's good fixing. It's solid, yeah. but I want a new image. Um, <gasps> oh, no, no, who we need to talk about? Um, go to Multicolor. Because this card I, I first read, uh, Kethis, Kethis. Um, when I first read it, I was like, this is fucking garbage. It's like rereading it and rereading it more and more and more. And a Legendary Matters deck, he's good. Exile two Legendary cards from your graveyard. Mm-hmm. Till the end of turn, each Legendary card in your graveyard gains. You may play this card from your graveyard. Yep. Okay. So, first of all, we'll get the elephant out of the room. You can play lands from your graveyard, Legendary lands. Okay. Um, 
but he's just good recursion in a legendary deck. You can make a legendary matters deck. Um, I don't want to put it out there because I hate planeswalkers, but super friends deck. Oh yeah. People kill planeswalkers. They're all legendary now, so you can bring them back out. Um, and he's letting them, you cast them for one cheaper. True. If you built around him, he's strong. Obviously, if you didn't build around him, he's not very strong. Um, sagas and things like that, that worry about legendaries are good. It just, he's just like, I was, when I first read him, I kind of underestimated yeah, him. If you stack it enough to where it's all legendaries. Mm-hmm. And and I hear the people say, it's like, we well, have to exile the two legendaries. I'm like, yeah, but if your decks, if you have 99 legendaries, in your deck, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, whatever. And you find the one you're le- like the least useful for you at that moment. Yeah. Because not all of them are going to be useful, useful to you throughout the game. Yeah. And it's Unless like, you're that uh, fine tuned. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to get rid of these two. And at this point, why are you right playing? Now. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, he's he's a uh, he's actually interesting. Like, I thought about building him too, but I'm like, a legendary deck can get expensive. I yeah, I don't want to do that shit. Um, also, Paradox Engine got banned, which I'm I'm happy for. No, <laughs> pull that shit out of your deck. No, it's staying in there. <laughs> Every time you play it, I'm just gonna. We're doing house think rules. You lose. We're doing house rules. <laughs> Fuck that shit, man. Um, oh, Brand was excited when he saw that. Really? <laughs> yeah. Of course. I mean, he was. it's it, Paradox Engine isn't rampant in our play group. I mean, you have it. I have but, one. Yeah, I'm but the only one who has it. You don't really abuse it. Like, I mean, oh, you, you go off with it, but yeah, it's not something like I see every game. Or every well, because I don't play that deck very often because it's yeah. it, it's so janky, and you know it's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, you know it's going to happen. <laughs> um, I feel like Josh might have a few, and he uh, has he has it in his. Um, is it Sissy or something else? I think it's Sissy. Yeah, because it's a legendary artifact. He could search for it. Yeah, I think it's in the Sissé where he continuously, yeah, he goes infinite with that a lot. Um, now that's the situation where I understand because it it, it I go enables in, infinite combos with Isochron Scepter and stuff. You go infinite, but yeah, it's, it, that's not gonna be bad. Um, people said, why not ban Urza instead of Paradox Engine? <laughs> because obviously Paradox Engine goes really well, well with Urza and stuff, and because oh. tapping your because they just released Urza. Stuff. Why would they ban him? Well, yeah, and I don't think he's honestly that... I mean, he is powerful. He's 100% powerful. I'm never going to deny that. You think Urza's the reason Paradox Engine got banned? No. I think he might be one of the reasons. Yeah. Paradox Engine was already good before Urza was out. Oh, yeah, you're right. It was already right. that good. Um, I think Ur- Urza's not going to get banned, though, because... Like, Brandon built an Urza deck, and Brandon's very much a Vorthos player, where Vorthos is like, they care about the lore, and they want a flavorful deck. Yeah. He built it very flavorfully. It's still powerful, like, I went one-on-one with it, Yogmoth Urza, which basically was the flavor win of the century. <laughs> um, and we were actually really well-balanced. Like, we were keeping each other down um, and keeping each other, like, at bay. But, yeah, if you play, if you make the deck as spiky as possible, it's gross. It's yeah. going to win on, like, turn four. It's gross. But Painter Servant is back. Painter Servant is back. And there's a lot of cool things you could do with that. <laughs> um, or mill someone's deck out with... Um, was it Millstone or whatever? No, well... Grindstone. Grindstone yeah. and then Archmage... No, not Archmage. Uh, what's it called? Sphinx Tutelage? Sphinx Tutelage, yeah. Yeah. Um, Immediately. <laughs> Draw one card. Hey, all your cards are blue. Yeah. Oh, well, cool. It, well, the Grindstone, it's, it's even better because Grindstone costs one. So turn one, you drop it. Painter Servant costs two, you drop it. And on turn three, you have three land. You can activate Grindstone and mill somebody. It's dumb. Uh, yeah, it's a strong combo. Um... I, I don't see it as that bad because it's only one person and they have to wait for the next turn to do it again. Yeah, and if, well, if you're doing it turn three, you might not have a solution for it. No, and if that's <laughs> the way they want to win, that's the way they want to win. Yeah. And if they're going to keep that hand just because they could do that, fine. Yeah. But that's the problem is, unless it's a mill deck, like, what's the purpose of it's having one, those two cards in the deck? It's one out of 99 chances yeah. or two out of 99 chances of getting those uh, cards. That's why looking at Painter Servant, like, I always thought it was because I own it. It got banned. Yeah. But... I think it just got banned because they were afraid of like some of the shenanigans that you could pull. Hey, with. I have a painter servant. You could just you can honestly so throw it in in a deck. Um, it's already up to like twenty dollars, I think, right now. Is it? Yeah, like yeah. I think it started to get sold out everywhere. Really? Want to use it? I bought it a while ago, and I'm like, it's so cheap, it's so good. <laughs> and then I looked at the ban list, I'm like, oh, that's why. Um, it's really good with like you could throw it into like a spell slinger deck where you have like red elemental blast or something. Okay. Because it's like you could pay like blue, and yeah. now red elemental blast counters any spell or could destroy any permanent. Um. For one red man, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Painter service, honestly, I think it's just a good utility card. Like some people are gonna u- want to use, not because it's gonna combo, but because it might be, might be just some utility. No, for sure, for right. sure. Um, and if you have like cards, like if, if your enemy has cards that require like, they whatever to get plus one plus one for each color or whatever. Like they're all one color now, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, but 
I mean, it's a creature. It can be killed really quick. Uh, and it, it definitely goes good with uh, cards that say, like, give protection from this color or whatever. Yeah. Because uh, protection is a, you know, it's a thing. Sure. But, eh. Anyway, yeah. back to 2020. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll say that's part of 2020. Are there any cards that you think are just overpowered? OP. Oh, yeah. the Chandra's OP. Chandra's OP. <laughs> uh, Chandra's going to keep coming up. Um, I don't think there's anything that was too overpowered, honestly. No, I don't think it. Because like, this is definitely a... Like, was hey, built for standard, so they didn't want to push the limit here. Uh, no, for sure. And this is basically an introduction to anybody joining the magic game on in 2020 in a sense. Yeah. Um, so I don't think there's anything that's like crazy overpowered. Chandra's <laughs> strong. Yeah. She's uh, strong. Not OP. It's not uh, game breaking. There's going to be fucking decks that abuse the shit out of her somehow. Yeah. Uh, one thing that I hated about this. Oh, air, and, air elemental got a reprint. That's cool. Just a fucking four, four, four. Oh, for five. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know about that. Um, Wait, is that, wait, what's going on here? It's got a 2019 on it. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm, what the I'm, fuck? I'm confused. Uh, um, you know what is a kind of an interesting card? What's that? Go, uh, go, go back down to like scroll down there to the blue. Click on uh, Atomus. 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 Go ahead, read Atom- that card for me. Tell Atom- me how Atom- I sis. Oh, dude, I'm gonna fucking. I'm not lying. Flying for three, uh, two, and a blue. Tap it, draw two cards, and discard a card. Whenever Atomus, Atom-sis. all seeing, deals damage to an opponent. So it's not even combat damage. You could just fucking ping somebody with her. Um, to an opponent, you may reveal your hand if uh, cards with at least six different converted mana costs <laughs> are revealed this way. That player loses the game. The thing is, you can't run it as a you can't run it as a commander. Yeah, you can. Six, oh, six different converted oh mana costs. Yeah. I was for some reason I was thinking six different color no. combinations. And I don't know why. I think there was like a it's a thing like at some point in the game you're gonna have six different covered mana costs. Oh, if you make it into a, yeah. you put in um, Olimar's archive in there, and you just start drawing and drawing and drawing. Oh, and yeah. drawing. it would basically be a draw deck. And when you when if you have a hand of fucking twenty, yeah, odds are, <laughs> yeah, exactly, you're gonna hit somebody and be like, you lose. Yeah, you're, you're you're done. It honestly seems like people might hate this, like if they lost to this. But honestly, I I think it'd be fun. Yeah, make us weird. Oh God, I'm dying. Make a weird Sphinx deck or something. Yeah, for sure. And and, and uh, the art's probably fucking dope. Um, All the Sphinx arts are pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. except for uh, what is it? It's not Magic or Sphinx. It's a uh, Magic or Sphinx is brutal. It's a uh, ah oh, fuck. I can't remember the Sphinx, but it's got a derpy face on it. Um, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, but no, she she honestly seems like a lot of fun. And I'm not a big fan of blue, especially mono blue. Mono blue just seems boring to me. That's another deck I want to build, a mono blue. Because it's another kind of out of your comfort zone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I don't know, it's hard for me to build mono anything. <laughs> yeah. That's why I'm trying to, like, I I already have my mono black deck. I'm like, I don't need to build another mono I had deck. a mono green. <laughs> I had a mono it, green. It was elves. Deck. It doesn't count. It was a terrible <laughs> deck. I told you, I pulled it apart, and I'm like, mm. I'm, there's no reason to keep any of these cards. Like, any of these them. exist? A commander sphere and a mono green deck. Think about that, people. <laughs> Maybe I was new to magic. Leave me alone. You can tag it, draw a card. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, there wasn't really any like abilities or like um, keywords that they brought back. I don't know. No, there wasn't. There was protection, I guess, but it it's like, it's very few in between. Yeah, it wasn't like a new mechanic. Like what I was did some. hate about this mm. was all the color symbols. Um, oh yeah, a lot of them have like this Cavalier of Dawn has yeah. three white in it. Um, Honestly, I see this set as almost like a. Besides, obviously, the multicolored, like, generals and stuff. For EDH, at least, I'm like, a lot of monocolor support. Yeah, yeah, which, for sure. Which I'm like, I'm, I mean, I'm not against. For sure. Like, yeah, like, Sparrow has three in there. Agent of Treachery, it was the seven coster, but it has two. Yeah. That has two. That one has three. Um, I like how they reprinted Bone to Ash, and they didn't change the art, because I find that art to be just stupid. He's <laughs> just goofy. Huh? skeleton. <laughs> ah! <laughs> 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 um, that's one thing I didn't like. Mm. Especially, oh, dungeon guys got a reprint too. Holy shit! Oh, click on uh, drawn from dreams. Oh, yeah, that that shit is that, yeah, that shit is uh, uh, fuck it. Oh, God, I can't remember the name of the card now. Uh, dig through time, but for four. <laughs> Let's dig through time. It costs six and two blue, but it has delve. So most six time and two blue. Yeah. So eight. Yeah. So Damn. most time it's only going to cost two blue because of delve. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Um, but it's the same thing. You'll get top seven, you put two of them in your hand, and you put them with the rest in the bottom of your library. So this is four. Solid. It does the same thing for it's four. A good, uh, yeah, solid. It's just good draw. Yeah. Um, I saw that. I was like, well, I'm dig through time. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a good... I was like, thinking about getting that card. If you're running dig through time, might as well run this too. Yeah, I'm probably going to put that in my uh, recursion deck just because I need you more know, card draw on that deck. So can we talk about your lack of like one-off card draw in most your decks? <laughs> like, There's a huge lack of like, it. Can we, like, your baby deck's really good, but you have these games where it just like dips... Yeah, I, I like my my hand is on the field, and I feel no, like if you replace some of the creatures you don't need or spells yeah, you don't that's need, that's what I'm, I'm gonna, just a little one shot draws for sure. You could just dig a little it's bit just, deeper. My head in my head, I'm like, I could pay three to draw two cards. I don't want to do that. Well, <laughs> look, look back at my baby deck. Like, how many times did I spend a turn seriously, like playing three different draw spells? That's true. Dig, digging deeper. I, I definitely understand it. Yeah. I definitely get it. I just, there's so many times where I'm like, put this yeah, but the- and this together. <laughs> yeah, I can't get to this one because I can't draw into it, but yeah. these two together. Like, Bull of Citadel was a great addition because it does kind of what, like, because you could cast them off top. Yeah. Um, but in the, if you have Bull of Citadel and you just don't want to cast something on top, play a draw spell. Recycle draw. your, yeah. basically. And then you could look at the top again, but... If you do Please do that. Yeah, <laughs> I need to look at, I understand. There's a lot of... I'm going to refocus it back to tokens, and I'm going to add the more draw spells to it. Well, there's this really cool conversation. I think it was Command Zone that was talking about it. Um, shout out. Shout out. Yeah. <laughs> um, talking about like the usefulness of like Phyrexian uh, Arena, because you're paying, what, three? You're paying three, putting a champ on the field. You're not getting anything out of it at that turn. That turn. Phyrexian Arena. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fucking dog's dreams, bro. having dreams. Um, <laughs> You're not getting anything out of it. Uh-huh. And next turn, you draw a card and lose a life. So that's a turn later. Next turn. Now put Vilkas in there. Or not Vilkas. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> and then turn after that, you draw a card, lose no life. Now you've drawn two cards and lost two life. You can run Knight's Whisper, which costs two mana. Let you immediately draw two and lose two. Right then. Yeah. I find, like, people might complain to me. About like, well, the one shot's like useless because like once you cast it, it's done. Right. I'm like, but I'd rather cast one, draw three. Like uh, Painful Truths is really good and it would be good in your uh, baby deck because it's four colors. It costs three. It's like a black and then like two. Mm-hmm. And you draw X and lose X depending on how many colors you spent to cast it. Okay. So you're at most you're going to draw three and lose three. Right, right. But you just draw three for three mana. Yeah, true. And it's right then. Um I find those to be way better than. I don't. Yeah, I don't know what is like. My mindset is where if I'm not drawing like twelve at a time, I'm not. It's not worth it. <laughs> <You're> not worth <laughs> it. Where where those three could be the difference between winning the game and losing the game. That's what, like Mystic Remora and like Rhystic Steady are also pretty good because it's like you get value. Yeah. On the round of the turn, and until somebody kills it. Mm-hmm. it but Frexian Arena, it's only on your upkeep. Well, that's like the game I was playing on Sunday. I had Smothering Tithe out mm. with Anointed Possession and Parallel Lives. Yeah, you're getting a lot So of I was just getting a fuck ton of mana with no hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely no hand. So um, anybody who comments on this video, tell him to add fucking <laughs> draw spells. <laughs> no draw spells, no board wipes. That's what people say. Like, when, What's your theme of your deck? Be like, uh, tribal, no draw spells. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, no, it's, it's, uh, it's, 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 it kind of changed my world when I started adding that shit. Basically, you just put in like... Frexian Arena, but then have another card that makes me discard my hand each turn. <laughs> <laughs> so I just never have anything. Was it Pyromancer Swath? Um, oh, that, that card was in my uh, Zedru deck, where the, the one where you have to give things away. Uh, let me let me find it. Actually, that'd be kind of fun. To build, <laughs> to build a deck where you, you can never draw a card, or if you do, you have to discard it immediately just from a, <clears throat> another effect. Well, there's the, the demon that does that. Everybody, at the end of each uh, instep, you have to, everybody discards their hand. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but basically discard my whole hand, draw my card. I have one one card in my hand the entire game. And if I don't play it, or if I don't have the ability to play it, it goes to the discard pile. <laughs> <laughs> Teach you a lesson. Power of Swath Swath uh, is um, two and a red for an enchantment. If an instant sorcery source w- you control would deal damage to a creature or player, it deals that much damage plus two to that creature or player instead. At the end of your turn, discard your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Did they need to add that? No. No. Um, no, it's, there's, there's is a that, lot what of... What is it? Uh, torment? Something? What? I don't know. 
I'm thinking of something else. I mean, you're thinking of shit. Yep. Um, I'm also loving how this card's only a dollar. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, just you wait. Yeah, <laughs> you just wait. Um, no, but yeah, it's like pretty much 2020. I mean, at least in the eyes of two, not like like mediocre commander players. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, there's probably people watching this like, like, like what about this card? And this card? Yeah, and this card. I mean, there's a lot of cards. We didn't go through all of them. Yeah, and like I said, we, we only have so many decks. Like, I used to have like six decks, and I, I whittled it down to like, I have two right now. We have three? Yeah. Three, um, yeah. I did, yeah, I had like six as well. <laughs> I had black and a five-color deck. <laughs> Where's the other one? What other one? Did you see you had three? No, I had two. Oh, I said I had three. Yeah, you had... Fuck, man, losing my mind. <laughs> and I'm, I'm trying to make another one that's... Yeah. Uh, if I do the Hydra, then I'll have a three-color deck, uh, which that should be interesting to do because, man, I don't do big creatures well. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm like, well, why'd you kill it, though? <laughs> <laughs> um... Where, see, when I'm playing my black deck, it's like everything's a 1-1. One, one. I'm like, fucking kill it. Just kill it, bro. I can bring it back. Fuck oh, you. Oh, I killed it. <laughs> no balls. I killed it. <laughs> I killed it. That's how much I care. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I always love doing that when people board wipe. They're like, I'm going to board wipe it. I'm going to be like, well, I'm going to sack all this shit and <laughs> get something yeah. out of it. <laughs> Split second, you can't. Just look at each card and be like, you're useless. <laughs> um, no, it's 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 a cool set coming out. Um, again, not that exciting. Not as exciting as Modern Horizons. Uh I mean, I spent how much money on that fucking box? I'm still paying that bitch off. <laughs> yeah. um, and this, these, this box is obviously like normal price stuff, but yeah, I, I considered. Well, <coughs> I put together like a list of cards I want. It's going to come out to like seventy dollars, and then I considered buying a box for twenty more dollars. But it's not guaranteed. I'm not guaranteed I'm going to get those cards. You might as well just buy the singles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you were prepared to spend a hundred dollars on a box, spend the hundred dollars on singles. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like I know what I'm going to get, right. and I don't have to. Yeah. And I I don't know why I press my luck because I have horrible luck with opening yeah. packs and <laughs> opening boxes. Zero. But I I bought the Modern Horizon box. I got shit. I got That's duplicates. Shit. My Destiny Two luck kicked in here, and I got duplicates. <laughs> duplicates <laughs> and no Yogmoth. Yeah. None of us got a Nerza. Yeah, none of us. I I honestly feel like Yogmoth and Urza, there was less of them in each pack. Could have been. I mean, um, they were mythics. Or each box. I yeah. don't know what the percentage between mythics and other cards I mean, is. It's like every like. Every like like a box is supposed to have like three. I mean, I got a I got a Yawgmoth. I'm just saying. Yeah, it's mine now though. Yeah, because well, it was because you're friendly. Garbage, person. garbage ass card. What? <laughs> <laughs> and then I got a foil like of Eons from from Brandon. From Brandon, yeah, like a seventy dollar card. Which I'm gonna I'm gonna do something with it. I mean, if you build that mono blue deck, it's gonna go in there. I I'm gonna reset the game with it. What, I guarantee you, we're gonna spend the rest of this recording day like coming up with ideas for magic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. No, but yeah, that was that's the the set. I'm not like super hyped about it. There's certain cards like the one we're looking at right now, and some of the other ones we talked about. But there, and it's not like like I need to go buy a box right now. <laughs> yeah, um, exactly. It's it's not like one of those. That fish look like a penis to you. Something you want to tell me? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. It's got the it's got the, it's got the all the all the features. <laughs> it, does, it definitely does. Um, also, your wiener must look really weird. <laughs> yeah, we'll, um, we'll talk about the eyes. <laughs> hmm. Um but yeah, it's it's uh that's the twenty twenty set. Uh I don't think there's anything else that I need to speak about because there's none of these cards are really like interesting. Wait, you guys scroll down. See if there's anything I see that uh I wanna These guys I feel like the Griffin Sentinels in like every single year deck like the it's weird man, that's a weird thing to say. Yeah. <laughs> Scroll down. Wait, why aren't you scrolling? Where do you scroll. want to go? Where do you want oh, to go? Just, just scroll, man. Just scroll. Too fast. <laughs> um, too slow now. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh God. That, that, that frame rate, though. I know. Seriously. Right? <laughs> oh, Scheming Symmetry is actually pretty cool. Um, in EDH. Right there. One black for a tutor, but you have to get somebody else to tutor, too. It could be interesting to do, like, for a little politics stuff. Like, I could be like, bro. Oh, that for sure. Yeah, I'd be like, bro. We both need to deal with this. Can we search for something? Yeah. And then we... You or you can like... Make deals with Reverberate people. it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Repeat reverberate. Um, think about all those toots. Do you think about all those toots? The problem is getting somebody else to tutor because then now you're giving your enemy stuff. <laughs> Unless it turned into a um, arch enemy situation where you're you're fight you let's say it's a four player game but one person is clearly winning yeah then you could be like hey well yeah yeah you can hit up somebody else and be like i want to play a spell we're both going to toot for something to deal like, with all that yeah exactly um, it usually bites in the ass but yeah because likely. obviously they're trying to win too it would be interesting and i don't know how it words with like if you had like ob out 
it says opponents can't if they search their library they take 10 because now they're not going to search that's true or wait does that force them to search choose two target players each of those search yeah it searches so you're forcing <laughs> so, them to take 10 <laughs> so i mean it's a, yeah you, um, there's another or uh, situation if, if you have even mind sensor out where it's like opponents can only look at the top four i don't know if it's opponents or players um, if it's opponents, then that's great because you could search your whole deck. They could search the top four. Top four. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. Four lands. So there's ways around it, but again, it's, that's kind of limited. But I think it'd just be fun for... Uh, political. Like, yeah, political reasons. I do love the art of two, both those dudes like, holding daggers to each other. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, we're both going to search for something to kill each other with. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but no, I actually really like that card. That card's actually really dope. Um, so we'll see how it works out, though. Yeah. Because I actually might run that in Yogmoth for, like... You know, when I wipe your field and be like, hey, hey as, a, do, as a peace offering. Hey, I'm going to need some help <laughs> dealing with this guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking guy. We, 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 I wish I hadn't done that before, but I've done that. Before. I've done that to John before. Fucking asshole. Where it's like, I'll kill his shit and be like, I need your help. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey, I just destroyed your two creatures on the field that were uh, dealing tons of damage to everybody. You looked at me wrong. <laughs> but this guy over here is a problem and I need help dealing with <laughs> yeah. him. We need to focus up here. Priorities, man. Yeah, pr- Priorities. <laughs> Now, get your field back up yeah. after Why, I destroyed it. Two turns later, why isn't your field back up? Yeah. Why are you hitting me? <laughs> I have no hand. You made me discard my hand. <laughs> Each turn, discard your hand. You want me to fucking help you? <laughs> just do it, okay? Just do just, the thing. Just do it. Um, is there any other cards that you might want to talk about? No, nah, I think that's it, honestly. What? I think that might be You're it. You're just the worst. Like, true. What? <laughs> true. No, we didn't really look into... We didn't look at a whole lot of red besides Chandra. <laughs> You're right. Well, yeah. repeated reverberation. Oh, yeah, that's true. Wait, what does the Cavalier Flame do? I think it's kind of garbage, too. Okay, so boosts, boost stuff. It and gains the, haste. Uh, Manage the battlefield. You discard any number of cards and draw that many cards. That's actually really good. For red. Um, yeah. Definitely for red. And uh, that's why that's why that new Neheb is so good. I feel like he's better than the second Neheb. Um, and when he de- dies, he deals X damage to each opponent, each Planeswalker. Where's the number of land cards in your graveyard? Eh, that's me. Yeah. But the, the, the that doesn't really happen very really much with red. Yeah. Um, it's all right, though. It's all right. I like the way you're clicking on things. Uh, uh, yeah. Ooh, Dragon Mage got a reprint. Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> Dude, Fry. Fry, though. <laughs> that art, that art <laughs> it's on so Fry. so good. Can uh, be countered. Deals five damage. Hey, yeah, man. That's white or blue, though. Dr- Dracu Seth. 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 Seth Maw Flames. Seth. Seth. His Hi. name is Seth, dude. My name is Seth. Whenever Drakusath Mob Flames attacks, deals four damage to any target and three damage to each up to two other. It deals each a lot of damage. To, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a dragon. <laughs> it's a dragon. Solid dragon. Costs a lot. Um, uh, yeah. Glinthorn Buccaneer, huh? Oh, dude. Look at Marauding Raptor. It's it's like you'd have to build around that fucking card. Oh, creature spells you cast cost one less to cast. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, Marauding Raptor deals two damage to it. <laughs> if a dinosaur is dealt two damage this way, Marauding Raptor gets two plus two. So you have to have creatures that are bigger than. Th- yeah. They have to be at least three. Yeah. A three three. And you and yeah, and it, that'd be dinosaurs. Yeah. So it's like if somebody's got a tribal dinosaur deck, I feel like it's, it's good. This is going to go in it. But. It's just funny because it's doing do damage to <laughs> I just I just imagine like dropping like Zakama and this little raptor comes up and just like attacks him real fast and runs away. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty cool. Um I saw it though and I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. They, they should throw that in a deck full of goblins, so it's like every time you play goblin it's just killing the goblins. Yeah, <laughs> You're I mean, like I feel like I built this deck wrong. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you have the ability if like goblins dying dealt damage and you were able to pump out like six goblins yeah you could deal like say they deal two to someone you deal two damage to 12 damage to someone well no it deals it to the creatures the creatures but saying that the saying that the goblins when they die deal damage to oh yeah yeah and there's plenty of effects like this yeah there's effects like that and shit um yeah there's there's probably ways to make this interesting first time if i ever see it in our play group i'm just gonna be like what are you doing what's your plan yeah what are you doing now if i like i could you possibly put it in like i could possibly put it in my token deck and have like blood artist well blood artist wouldn't be able to be out unless he was out first yeah or say um corpse knight out yeah has been out and then i say i second harvest for 15 tokens Man, we all know that second harvest doesn't do shit it, for you it doesn't it's, it's not even in there anymore but God i'm saying like i say i have like five tokens out, i put out 10 tokens out and then i deal i just realized that much something. damage i just realized something about your baby deck you took out a bunch of the token makers but you still have doubling season in there uh, it works with the counters. There's counters in there. 
<laughs> I'm confused. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, John's poor life choices aside. No, there are no, there are. Don't token, try to just. There are, are try, token generators. Are you trying in to there? Pr- prove it to me. There's or you? just not a lot anymore. <laughs> trying that's, to prove it to me or you. <laughs> To my, that's why I'm re I'm looking at it again. I'm like, you know what? We need to stop looking at it. Because I, I played because I played double season. I played annoying possession, all that, and those they, they were working well. And then I'm like, I'm only making <clears throat> artifacts with these. I'm not oh, even yeah. making tokens anymore, other than artifact tokens. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's like smothering tides and stuff. Yeah. So it's, <clears throat> it's 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 definitely going back. I need to go back to my roots. I've I've moved away from it too much. <laughs> Gotta go back to where you came from. Yeah. Like Drake, you started at the bottom. <laughs> And now you lost all your tokens. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, that's that's 2020 coming out. Uh, hopefully we get some cool cards out of it. And I'm probably going to try to get, grab those Hydras because I'm actually kind of set on making this Hydra deck now. Here's this little snippet. If you made it this far in this video, comment <laughs> and I will send you five packs, five booster packs. What? Yeah. Man, that's a lot of money. <laughs> five? It's like $15. That's a lot of money. <laughs> you know how long that feeds me? <laughs> yeah. If you find this, if you find this. Dude, we're gonna, this is going to be the most commented fucking thing. <laughs> if they make it this far. This is an hour and a half in. I'm just uh, saying. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, Throwing that out there. I apologize to everybody who get a apology letter from John saying, <laughs> like, just get a I don't have the money. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't afford the pack. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't afford the <laughs> How does one sound? I'll send you a land. <laughs> yeah. um, I mean, if you actually do it, man. that's, that's No, that's, I will. 100% will. Guaranteed. Why don't you buy me packs? Dude, it's like on you. these people. I'm going to buy me you. packs. 13. We're up to 13. <laughs> 13. Are we really? Yeah. Hey, 13 other people. Well, yeah. actually, I guess it's us and yeah, it's, it's like Shut know, up. 10 other people. <laughs> Shut up. It's 13. <laughs> um, yeah. Th- thank you all. Actually, uh, again, if you make it this far, thank you all for subscribing to us and liking what we're putting out i mean we're just putting out stuff we enjoy i guess at this point yeah just bullshit and yeah just bullshit <laughs> yeah we just spend some time in between like our actual jobs and doing this like i mean if we could do this full time i think we would easily because that would be fucking fun pay me yeah pay pay me now pay. i mean we could start a patreon and start begging for money no, <laughs> i can't stoop that low you can't stoop i'm not a beggar <laughs> um yeah i mean it works for like uh for business expenses like like mics and things like that which I mean, we already got the mics. We already but, got the mics. Which I hope you guys can notice because our I, I like to think our audio quality is actually pretty good. It's it's it's, um, it's not substandard. It's not substandard. <laughs> it doesn't suck. It doesn't <laughs> suck, and it's it's not the greatest. Because um, I've heard some mics out there. I'm like, wow. But yeah, the original point. Thank you guys all for listening to us. And I mean, we love all you guys. All you guys. All of you. All the guys. All the <laughs> <laughs> boys. 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 God. God. Okay, we're just going to end it here. Yeah, we're going to end it here. Uh, we'll catch you next time. <laughs> dog, go away. Go away, dog. <laughs>